guys, welcome back with Talking with Ken J. And today I'm coming at you with another motivational video. Today's motivational video is about knowing the difference between having friends and associates. Now, some of us grew up with them bombers who told us that it's not your friend, that is your associates. I know my mama did. We grew up with knowing, you know, growing up, who really was our friends was like our cousins. Or whatever, because also we spent the most time with if you grew up in a, in a family like that. So growing up, I spent time with my cousins, whether it be birthday parties, slumber parties, going over to auntie house to stay the night, they coming over to my mother's house to stay the night. Those was the closest things I had to friends. As you get older, as you get wiser, you start to learn the difference between friends and associates. Meaning, those who's there for you and those who are there every now and then. Those who got your back and those who talking behind your back. Those who support you and those who just, eh, I guess. You learn the difference between those who going to be there and them who barely there. Friends and associates. Now, co-workers to me are considered associates. Unless I build a friendship with you outside of work and we have years invested, you're just an associate. Friend. A friend is somebody who is close-knit like a family member. The Bible tells me that a friend is closer than a brother. Meaning, you've been able to confide in that individual. You guys have talked about each other's personal, been vulnerable with each other, been able to speak about topics you wouldn't speak with no stranger, been able to talk about things that you wouldn't speak on a regular with someone, been able to discuss factors in your life, whether it be career goals or potential goals or relationship goals or discuss things about your partners, things about your relationships, or have been able to confide in someone. That's a friend. An associate, you tell them what you want them to know, what you don't mind being repeated, and things that ain't really much your business because you don't need them all up in your ish like that. With associates, you can coexist and you can be cordial. With friends, we go on trips together, family barbecues. You came to my baby shower. You came to my daughter's birthday party. I came to your family's baby showers. I came to your kid's birthday party. We can celebrate Christmas together. Friends and associates. Now, also with a friend, because you have to know the difference, friends aren't shady. Yeah, I said it. Friends aren't shady, meaning that you know I went through something. Every chance you get, you get to throw a dagger at me. That is not a friend. A friend is somebody who knows your personal and don't use it as a bullet or as ammunition when they're upset with you. They don't use it against you in order to harm you or to make you even more matter. It's like being in a relationship. You know people's pressure points and you know when you've gone too far. Also, friends don't talk to your, your other friend's enemy about each other. Case in point. It's me and friend A are both friends with friend B. Friend B and A are no longer getting along. There's no way I should be discussing friend A with friend B or friend B with friend A. That's not a friend. An associate. Associate wouldn't mind bringing up old T. Wouldn't mind being messy. Wouldn't mind throwing ridiculous palm trees shade. With in mind discussing business by somebody else as soon as they walk out the room. Be careful who you call your friend. Because everybody who say that they're your friend ain't really your friend. Some people are really just out to get what they can get from you and move the hell on. A true friend, a real friend, baby, a friend, they wouldn't come by every now and then. They wouldn't just talk to you when it's convenient for them. They wouldn't only call you whenever they want something, but you can't benefit a damn thing from them. They wouldn't just step by just because, oh, you got something going on. No, no, a friend adds something to your life. Friendships are like relationships. It takes work on building them, but it also takes work on keeping them. Understand that if I, if that person, if a person leaves the room and someone's quick to say something about them when they leave the room, be careful on how you leave the room. I'm very observant. I look to see if that's what you do when that person leaves the room when you call that person your friend. That means when I leave the room, you ain't too shy to say nothing about me neither, baby. Also, friends are not in competition with each other. When you are friends are not in competition with each other. When you a true friend, 
You are happy, proud, and excited just as much as your friend is. Friend getting married. You ain't jealous that that friend is getting married. You ain't hating that she got a husband and you still single. You ain't mad that she found a lifetime partner and yet you're still waiting. No, you're going to be happy and you're going to celebrate in her blessing and hope and pray that God gives you the same thing. But what you ain't going to do is throw shade and be messy and be mad because you ain't got it yet. Please believe me. A true friend going to support you. A true friend going to be right there as your cheerleader. A true friend going to cheer you on and be right there by your side. An associate. Associate or fans. Associates are haters. Not supporters. Associates are people who just stop by just to do what you got going on so they can run back and take your business. Associates are people who are only wanting to get something so they can, they looking for you to be down. They're looking for you to be miserable. They're looking for you to be what I, especially when you always getting blessed and you always winning and they so used to taking the L. Baby, they can't wait for you to be down. They can't wait for you to be with I. A true friend? Hey, I'm short on money and I need gas. You think you can meet me at the gas station real quick? Yeah, how much you need? Whatever you can give me. Been there, done that. Been able to pick up the phone and call a few of mine when I've been without. Those are true friends. True friends are supporters, not fans. Associates are fans and haters. Understand the difference. When you really getting it and you really on the up and up, baby, they looking for you to do one slip up. Let you be happy in the relationship. Let them find one T about that nigga. Why? Oh, they going quick to DM, talk about, put you on blast, everything. When you finally get in a healthy relationship, introduce them. You gonna find one of them associates, quote unquote, making it your friend. Oh, girl, he used to talk to me. Oh, girl, he used to slide in my DMs. Master moves. Oh, yes, friends and associates. Understand between the difference between your fans and your supporters. When you support and you're a real friend, you got each other's back. It ain't a one-way street when it comes down to friendship. It's all way, full way, every way. You got me just like I got you. You without, I'm going to make sure you have. We're going out to eat and my friend says she ain't got it. I'm her friend, a true friend. Boo, you good. I got you. Don't worry. I got you. Friends and associates. An associate would sit there and eat in your face and let you watch them eat. They would do that. Pick up a bill, who? Take you out to eat, who? Support you, who? Share status, who? Not an associate. Oh, you trying to do something with your life? No, 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 no. And understand the difference. Some people don't want you to grow up or glow up. Hello? True friends, they want you to evolve. They want you to be magnified in this life. They want you to go out there and get it. They want you to be better. They want to see you grow. They want to see you prosper. And associates, how dare you try to do better than me? Oh, so you got a man that's so now you think you good? They going to find a negative in every positive situation that God done bless you with. That's an associate. That's the person that's not your real friend. A real friend? We got each other. Best friend pregnant? Oh, I'm throwing the baby shower. Why? Yes. Because we friends. You crying? I'm that shoulder for you to cry on. You want to that nigga to try you? Let's bring the Jeep to a real slow creep. Boo, I got you. Friends and associates. Know the difference of who got your back? Or who just waiting for you to turn your back? Who praying for you? And who praying on you? Know the difference. Everybody ain't your friend. Mama always said, be careful. Everybody ain't your friend. Some of these so-called friends are your associates. Some of these so-called friends are your fans. They are they praying on your downfall. They praying something don't make it work for you. And somebody bring your name up in a conversation, they got the first thing negative to say. Oh, she can't be doing that good. Oh, she ain't really got it like that. Don't let it fool you. No, baby, if you my friend, we gonna finesse this shit together. Oh, she's doing great, honey. She's well. Ain't no way I'm going to let one of your fans know that you're down and out. If I'm a true supporter, if I'm a true friend, oh, you starting a YouTube page? Let me like, comment, and subscribe. Let me share you on a status. Let me comment and let people know what you got going on. Huh, man? True friends, true supporters. True fans, true haters. Associates, know the difference.